But now that we've completed Bill's mission, uh, we can go ahead and head back down to Cerulean City because we've seen all that we need to see up north of it. <clears throat> and uh, we can actually do uh, a few things. Uh, there's actually two things we can do right now, and I'll let you decide what you want to do based on what you see. But uh, we are not completely done exploring Cerulean City, so... What I recommend we do is uh, you talk to your Caterpie there without stepping on it. I would never. <clears throat> and you got a raspberry. See, I went to that before Caterpie even noticed it. Mm -hmm. We're in sync. But yeah, so I recommend we go to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon since we... Agreed, uh... I was already going to do that. Okay. Look, my old Caterpie can't catch up. Mm -hmm. What can he muster? Oh my god. But yeah, so we can go ahead and head in here. Head, go ahead and head in head in head in head in head in what? I fucking hate that guy. Creeper. But he taught your Pikachu Zippy Zap. I don't give a fuck you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're so funny. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you're cute. <clears throat> Ew. Don't call me that. That was good. I'm gonna catch the 800th Geodude that's in this area. But now that we've, uh, we're have we all healed up, we can go ahead and head on to, uh, well, <laughs> there's a few houses you haven't been in for starters. Yeah, huh? So, yeah. I've been in all of them. Mm, have you? Except for this one over here that's gonna lead me to a Team Rocket Grunt that's over here, actually, instead. Have you been in this house? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have. Have you? Yeah. Talk to this guy. Yeah. Hole? Oh? He just says Clefairy's dead. Head. Oh. My oh, dear Clefairy's head. So it's referring. He's just referring to the fact that his Clefairy's uh, fur got fluffy. That is me. He's dead. No. My dearest Clefairy's dead! I was worried. I'm like, shit, dude. Damn. Yeah, I went to all these houses. Uh, so you went in there, obviously, but did you go in this one? Yeah. What's in here? A woman. And what'd she say? She's the one who gave me a Bulbasaur. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were in here. Fuck you, coming straight from the underground. I'ma fuck your bitch and pull her underground, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is one building we haven't explored yet. Yeah, it's up here. Okay, there's two buildings we haven't explored yet. It's up here. Well, you're going down, Fuck first of guy. all. this guy for not giving me a goddamn bike. <clears throat> I think maybe you should uh, check this building out right here. That's a museum. It's not a museum. Just kidding, I lied to you. That's the gym. It, it is the you. gym. <coughs> do, you know, do you know whose gym this is? Misty. That's correct. That is Misty's gym. Why Why is everybody so short? Yo, champ in making! Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean G City Gym, is a powerful trainer. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. So, as I mentioned with Brock's gym, where you had to show him a water or grass type, this one you need a Pokemon over level 15. So it doesn't matter which one you show him, all six of them are over that level. So, you know, just pick whichever one. Doesn't matter which. <laughs> okay, so now if we get a move on. Oh, what are you doing? Are you moving Pikachu to the front? Yep. Okay. I'm a rich shit with this. So, <clears throat> this is obviously a water type gym, so the recommended types for it are uh, electric and grass, those being the types that are super effective on it. We just so happen to have both types, which is going to make this a complete cakewalk. But here's Ew. a fun fact. All of these trainers before Misty are named after Misty's sisters in the anime. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Which are also named after flowers, like this one being Lily. Uh, there's another name. Violet? What? Is there a Violet? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there's a Daisy, but I don't remember what the third one is. I'm gonna use Zippy Zap on the beach. 
<laughs> yeah, you're probably just gonna knock everything out in one hit because your starter Pokemon's OP, so. That's very <clears throat> I knew you could do it. <laughs> <clears throat> Fun fact, while we've been recording, I've been grinding Pokeballs on Pokemon Go. Uh. Mm. Blup, blup. That was the first trainer, now on to the second. Ew. Also, this gym's layout is, like, completely different from the previous games. Like, completely really? different, yeah. It's different from the, the anime. It <laughs> is different from the anime. None of the gyms in the anime really Violet. match. Check me out. Okay, yeah, Violet is one of them. I'm pretty sure Daisy is the third one, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rose. But yeah, I honestly expect you to just sweep this entire gym with, like, Zippy Zap, and I would be... I think there's only one Pokemon where I'm actually going to get to use Vine Whip on, so... <laughs> yeah, Zippy Zap, Pikachu, Starter, OP, please nerf. Yeah. Use want to throw in all that meme language? Yep. Thanks. I'm going to get it. Don't pick it. Don't pick it. Did you already pick it? Look at me. Hey, what's up, Oh. I was going to go <laughs> just ignore the trainers. <clears throat> so you do have the ability to walk around, but as I've told you with Brock's gym, I highly recommend we just fight all the trainers. Experience Daisy. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, I remember two out of three. <laughs> and this is Seal, your favorite Pokemon Go Pokemon, apparently. It's just annoying. Because it spawns everywhere? Yep. How about you get Zippity Zapped? And back the fuck up. Seal's another one of those kind of forgettable water types in Gen 1. It really is. There are definitely more memorable water types. Does it Pokemon. evolve? It evolves into Dugong. Yeah. Dugong. Like, when I think of Gen 1 water type Pokemon, I think of Blastoise, obviously. I think of Gyarados and Lapras and Vaporeon. I even think of, like, Slowpoke, you know? Yeah. But I don't think of, like, Seal or Shelter or Krabby. I think of Tentacool, even. You know? Does Tentacool become Tentacool? Yes, it does. So, this is Misty. Uh, the second gym leader in the game, obviously. And here we go with some kick-ass motherfucking music! I fucking love this song so much. Calm down. I love this song. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> Misty's team has been changed to reflect the anime. Obviously, she has a Psyduck, because Psyduck is a reoccurring Pokemon of hers that shows up all the time, um, mostly for comedic relief. But that was her first Pokemon. A total joke, because Pikachu makes all of her Pokemon a joke. And then her second Pokemon coming up here in a is second... It? Oh, you're actually learning Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a <laughs> really, really good electric type move. Like a I'm super good of. move. <laughs> Hit B to go back if you don't want to delete that. What do you want to delete? This. Light screen? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Light screen isn't really good for this kind of game. Uh, it'd be better in like a, a, a game like Pokemon Coliseum or something. But yeah. So her second Pokemon, after my Pokemon just completely misses, is Starmie. Starmie is a fucking beast in the uh in the original games uh this thing is like your first challenge when it really comes down to like fighting mm -hmm. pokemon we're gonna wipe the floor with it because obviously pikachu is overpowered but doesn't star you become starmie yes and starmie is my preferred water type gen 1 pokemon so you know whenever i use uh, a water type pokemon either starmie or gyarados i also like gyarados but uh, Starmie has become my preferred uh, because it used the move Scald. Scald, um, you know, obviously okay. hot water burn you. I wasn't even paying attention to what move it used. Yeah, so oh my God. that's a Gen Five move actually. That move didn't exist before Gen Five. 
Really? So, yeah, it wouldn't have that in the original game. But this thing is like the first real like boss fight, <laughs> I feel, because like it's super tanky. In Gen 3, it knows like Water Pulse and Swift and Recover, and it's pretty beefy. So, I mean, if you have Bulbasaur or Pikachu or any Electric Grass type, it's a joke. But if you don't, you are actually up against a pretty decent challenge. I just hate the design of the characters, man. They're too, they're too stompy. Too yeah, stompy. the sprite work is definitely better than uh, some of the models, I think. I don't really care for the art style either. But I think the art style is fine. Well, I mean the they're character just too design. Short. Yeah, they are. They're like in between regular humans and Chibi. They're like an awkward, uncanny chibi. in between. Yeah. Chibi. But she gave you the TM for Scald, which was the move her Starmie used. So. Hell yeah. Yep. So that was the second gym. We've already got two out of eight gym badges. So are we. So how about that? Yeah, so we can go ahead and head out, and maybe we can call this uh, a part, or a session. And uh, in the next part, we can continue on out of Cerulean and see where that takes us. Sounds doperone to me. Yep, so if you want to go ahead and uh, heal up at the Pokemon Center, we can end off this part here. Uh, Alright, sounds good. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we really appreciate your viewership, and you know, you guys that enjoy this, and Feel free to leave a comment below telling us what you think, what you're feeling about the uh, the run so far. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And any recommendations you have for games, you know, drop those down below. We do record them uh, as far as, like, recording them for, to, like, to keep, you know, to go back on and contemplate. So make sure you guys do that. Yep. But, because uh... I will say, some of you have suggested some stuff in the comments. And, uh, I don't know. It may be capping. It, it may be capping. It may be happening. <laughs> yeah, Alrighty. well, we'll have to save that for the future. For now, we're going to end things off here. So we will see you guys in the next part.